Hey everyone, it's Spicy Toast Gaming here. Hope you're having a great day. Hope this video can make it a little bit better. Today we'll be showcasing our five star Aatrox. Now, if you're enjoying all the daily Path of Champions content, a like and subscribe is greatly appreciated and let's get into it. All right, let's go ahead and try out our Aatrox now. So he is another one that we got everything but his six star and the gemstones. And we need to test out to see if his star of discovery right here is actually bugged or not so equipment you inquire and adventures have phage this was not working previously i've heard that it is working i've heard from other people that it's not working uh so we'll test this out and see if it is working or not but got some really nice upgrades especially the eight regen is pretty massive and world ender having six cost reduction also really big our units having more equipment extra mana is nice i haven't played aatrox in a minute but we're gonna try his like normal very general solid build so Beast Within is great, having Overwhelm is nice, and then most of your units have a subtype of either Darken or Cultist, so they get the extra 1-1. One, one. And then with Starforged and Luminous, we get extra starting mana, so we'll start at 4, which will be pretty crazy. I think let's again go for the, the Fizz Adventure. It'd be nice to have a little bit of extra mana. Should be pretty fun. All right, first power, two units is nice, but a unit every round is also pretty good. The Quick Attack and Augment is good we want to have units to be able to equip them right away the little bodies can get kind of wasted later on because quite often our board is too full yeah there's it is kind of interesting i think we'll go for the little buddies but there is actually a, a thought to be going for the gearing up but i think we'll i think we'll go for the unit every round all right crack shot corsair this looks solid a lot of our good uh cards Yeah, let's drop this and immediately equip that. Let's drop our Forsaken. I think let's go for Darken right here. And let's try to actually... Well, we'd get two more Poros, but we wouldn't have the mana to equip them. At least not yet. Because yeah, both these are equipped. We could go for a Furious Wielder. I think let's just attack and get some damage down, some cost reduction going. Let's see what it hits. They both hit Furious Wielder. <laughs> okay. Um... Sure. We just want to try to get as many units on our board and equipped as we can. All right, four units equipped, round one. Pretty good. Uh, once again, let's just get another kill going. Try to hit our Aatrox. There we go. He's still, still shy. All right. GG. Nice. All right, right here, we're not really struggling for units, so I don't think we're going to go for either of these. Let's go for the Telstones, mainly for the champion draw. All right, support champion. Let's see what we can get. Uh, Victor, Nidalee, Rek'Sai. Not great. We would like someone with equipment. Let's try a reroll. Diego, Ari. Ari is cheap, would be not terrible. Yeah, I don't think I want to reroll too much, so I think we'll just grab Ari. We were hoping to get, like, Jax or something like that. Uh, slot bot or item chest. Again, Zap Spray Fin is just annoying. Although, I mean, so is Kelp Maidens. Both annoying. But I think let's go here. Uh, let's get rid of the Telstone since we have the Discord, I think. And let's, yeah, hold on to the rest. All right, nice. We have Aatrox. I think let's go for... Well, Quick Attack is nice. Yeah, let's try to drop this here. And I think let's lay this just for some more units in order to... Try to get some strikes off. I think we'll again go with the Quick Attack unit. Alright, solid. So zero cost Ari, sure. Wild 
And yeah, we'll pass right here. All right, let's buff up Ari so she can try to block any of their units. And you know what? We could just go ahead and kill their Kelp Maidens. Yeah, I think we're fine. Okay, that's also fine. Not hitting something too important. All right, let's drop our Aatrox here. Five cost Deathbringer. Uh, I think let's go for one more equipment. And then this will be game. Maybe. Yeah, I think we're not really too much we can do. I'll, we should have put Ari at the end. We actually didn't want her recalling. Uh, I think World Ender's pretty funny here. I think let's wait until we get our Dark and Aegis on the last unit. Well, I didn't realize that that still had his weapon on it, so that's actually a funny way to resummon him. Huh. Alright. Alright, let's use our Deathbringer sweep here. Ooh, that's, that's juicy with the animation speed increase. I suppose we could have killed some of our own units, I think. Alright, hopefully GG this time. Yes. Alright, so... Defector isn't terrible. Sure, we can grab that. All right, slot bots. I normally get two. And then Squeaker. Uh, let's get rid of the Blooming Cultist and the Steadfast Elkin. Hold on to the rest. Well, that's sad. <sighs> let's honestly just skip. Alright, the fact we got double Dark and Staff, though, is pretty good. I think we'll save and use this later when we have a little bit more units to spare. Although we could have more units to spare right now. Let's go ahead and drop this here. Uh, yeah, let's do that. Could go for Dancing Droplet. I, well, I guess we'll bank... We don't need to bank mana because we get our mana refilled every round anyways. Alright. Stall the damage down. So we're really struggling with our Aatrox getting cost reduction. <laughs> oh well. Alright, once again, let's just keep getting strikes off. All right, let's drop our Ari. Oh, this world has to offer. And I, I mean, we could go for Blooming Cultist. Sure, it's another elusive. It's going to be pretty big. That's fine. The Overwhelm and the Overwhelm and 1-1 and all of our units is quite nice. I think we'll still drop Aatrox. Nice to have him on the board, even though we could just like attack. And let's attack like this. And GG. Yeah, Great Hammer's not bad. Also, we're seeing that this has the Phage icon. So yeah, people were saying that it, on non-Darkened cards, it's working. Great Champions in your low deck. Yeah, I've never really played with that one or noticed it working one way or the other. Uh, Chamber for Spell Shield, not bad, but... Uh, yeah, I think we'll focus more on our units. Parallel Convergence could be funny. Zolani... Ally dies. Normally our board, board is going to be too full. Sure. Disarmed is okay. And sure. Parallel Converges can be pretty fun. What do we want to cut? I think we can cut Homecoming. We normally don't want to recall our own units. And let's go for Poppy. Let's get rid of Dancing Droplet. And I think we'll even get rid of the Tellstones. Yeah, since we have Ari, we have a good chance to draw Aatrox. 
Nice. So while we have better equipment, I think we're going to go... Hmm, I was going to say go for some of the cheaper stuff, but Noxine Defector, we could get both of those on the board. Sure. Oh, there goes that one. All right, so this unit's going to die. Still, it would be nice to get a strike off. Well, that's not the best, but at least Aatrox got hit for once. We are going to struggle with Aatrox getting recalled, but let's still try to drop him here. Yeah, kind of what I thought. Let's still go ahead and kill their poppy. Let's drop this here. And let's play this just for the champion draw, and we draw the wrong champion. Solid. All right, so there's Aatrox, and we could play a bunch of units, which we probably should. Dropping Aatrox just for him to get immediately recalled would be <laughs> pretty bad. We're at 10 cards, though. Sure, let's drop our Ari. We'll drop this here. Okay, not a big deal. All right, so we're really just wanting to equip as many units as possible. All right, so everyone's equipped. All these poros. Getting some good damage down, but also getting a bunch of cost reduction. And sure, let's go for World Ender. This will give us Aatrox on the board. Yeah, Aatrox, especially with the extra mana, is feeling pretty great. Uh, I suppose we could actually just play this as another unit. Sure. Oh, hoo hoo. All right, let's go for a Pale of Convergence, and this should just end the game. GG. All right, let's go for Aatrox. We can go for the Fury, potentially get some good kills on him. Explosive Entrance isn't bad, because we are summoning a lot of units, and we're kind of already drawing too many cards somewhat because we're drawing two and we're drawing a spell every single round. Sure, I think let's just, it's chip damage, but it'll be decent. Mind meld, that lets us cut cards. I think we're okay. We can go for Tenor of Terror. Let's get rid of the Defector. All the rest look pretty good. Yeah, whatever we play is probably gonna die. I think let's actually open with Darkened Staff. Because, yeah, their damage is six. If we played a single unit, they could have used this to kill two of our units. But dropping a unit like that makes it a little bit more survivable. We'll drop the Bakai, but he's probably about to die. Uh, we already have a good amount of equipment, so let's go for a Furious Wielder. Yep, not too surprising there. Let's try to drop this to maybe help him survive. Uh, we can drop Ari. And go for the blood letters. All right. Not too bad, especially considering the adventure we're going in. Yeah, pretty good. We can drop the blooming cult cultist. Man, still nothing for Aatrox, eh? Hmm. All right, let's keep trying to equip. Yeah, I think we'll pass for now. <laughs> uh, All righty. Let's try to get our Aatrox on the board.
All right, so good damage down. Oh, man. All right, let's drop this, and then we'll use our World Ender. Although we can actually just... We can just summon a unit, and that'll end the game. GG. This being a two cost isn't great. Double attack's not bad, but I kind of like this. Uh, gold. Let's go for the shop here. Uh, no. Yes. And let's see. Ranger Knight Defector is pretty good. Yeah, it's worth getting. Something we can play for free. Has synergy with equipment. Let's go here for Mirror Mage. And let's get rid of the Elkin, but the rest of this looks fine. The we have our really, really good cards. And the fact we're getting Poros at the start is excellent. Alright, let's quickly drop this. And I guess we can immediately play this 4 cost for free because... Oh, all the mana we start with. Sure, let's... I was gonna say get the scout attack off, but... I think let's use a Furious Wielder here, just so we can see what else gets cost reduced. We don't have any equipment for it, and I think it's going to die right away. Alright, pretty good. Yeah, that's, that's really nice. Alright, let's drop our Aatrox. And we can already use World Ender. Sure, just because I think it's also kind of hilarious. Even though we don't actually have that much equipment this time. Uh, we can get our scout attack off here. GG. Phage here is decent, so sure. And let's see what we can get here. Double attack, man deposit. Man deposit is nice, but I think we'll go for the double attack. And what do we want to cut? Probably the Dancing Droplet. Sure. And Fizz. Uh, this is all right. Uh, let's immediately drop this here. Alright, they are out of mana. Nice. Uh, I think let's go ahead and drop this here. And let's go for another Forsaken. We're actually getting lucky for once and hitting what we need. Alright, pretty good opening hand. Yeah, like someone will die to the long tooth, but that is fine. Or they just don't want to block it at all. Also solid. <laughs> Alright, let's drop our Aatrox. Alright, not too bad. Let's drop this here. All right, so let's go ahead and attack, and we can let this one die, but that'll probably be GG. Nice. Easy. All right, that was really good. The extra mana and all the extra stats you can get from some of the different equipment for Aatrox is really fantastic. Aatrox can be one that can struggle. He is a little bit more of what I normally call like a win more champion. If he's ahead, he feels fantastic and you just absolutely dominate the entire time. But if you ever fall behind, since you are so unit focused, you can just get countered really hard. So the fact you have a whole bunch of stats to be able to make your units bigger, and then the fact you get a lot of extra mana or can with potentially starting at four mana with the right build is really, really good. Once you get the six star, you get a lot of just massive units. Yeah, Aatrox is a pretty solid champion.